Chris Barron. Yeah. 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 Sound sculpture is yeah. a, an unusual name for a retreat. Yeah. So can you explain why those things go together? Because it's not just a course to learn to make amazing sounds from these yeah. incredible um, newly invented, recently invented yeah, acoustic yeah. instruments. What, what makes that a retreat? So, a sound sculpture is describing the instrument is a sound sculpture in itself. So we play and we sculpt sound um, and it's an accessible way of playing rather than having to learn music theory and music notation. So, so you don't have to be a musician. Don't have to be a musician. From this kind of retreat. Exactly. Don't have to be a musician. Don't need any musical experience. Just a curiosity and an interest in making music with these wonderful sound sculptures. Um, yeah, that's what they are. They're, they're sound sculptures. They're percussion instruments, um, and they're very easy to play. And they're very what do you find that that releases or, or delves into in, in people, in themselves. Yeah, the sound of the hong is very captivating and it's had a profound impact around the world because there's a real human connection with the sound that's just kind of, it, it kind of really touches people. We're not really 100% sure why, but that's been researched. But the great thing is, is that it is a beautiful sound that people connect with on a very deep emotional level um, and it has very soothing, calming effects on the emotions, it's very evocative of imagery um, and it's really good for like retreat kind of work where people want to relax, switch off but do something that's creative and accessible um, and music is in my opinion, the one, the art form that everybody really kind of connects with. Yeah. And that can then connect him with reflection, meditation, yeah. whatever other things that you build into the retreat or people bring with them. Exactly, there's yeah. time for reflection on the musical experiences that people are having. Um, and that's all supported by me, I'm a music therapist. We're not actually in therapy no. on the retreat, but it's a therapeutic experience that I contain and hold and allow people time to process their emotions and to express what they're maybe experiencing musically and emotionally through playing. Yeah. And you've been working with the people who invented and have developed exactly. these instruments yeah. Yeah. and not many people actually play and, and have the whole set Yeah, because exactly. we're seeing three versions of the whole yeah. here and how many have you got? There's about 20 altogether. So you'll be bringing to a thona? Yeah. A, 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 a whole full ensemble. ensemble. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And there are string instruments as well um, that kind of integrate into the ensemble as well and complement what the other sculptures are doing. And I can see what you can play on it. Yeah. But as yeah. a total beginner, yeah. in a couple of days, I'm going to be able to get to. Yeah. You, get, you make a connection. That's why we've got three days, because we're, we're going to learn about how we approach them. We're going to connect with them, how they feel, how they sound. They do feel great. Yeah, and there's no right or there's no wrong, and people can go at their own pace. They have one-to-one -one support from me. They'll have group support and peer support, and it'll be really enriching and really enjoyable and really fun, and they'll learn the philosophy, they'll learn about the art form, they'll learn about the influences of these instruments and what other instruments around the world have influenced them. They'll learn why they're therapeutic and yeah, they'll have a really good time <laughs> exploring on the, you know, yeah, it's like come along and just, you know, be curious and okay. get involved. Play some more. Yeah, sure. So this is just a simple technique, you know, it gets you feeling the instrument, it gives a nice kind of C texture.